now the Capital Classic. Cindy Ming here at the U.S. Capital Classics, where I'm interviewing a top champion and a tremendous athlete, Gary Desarn. Is that right? Right. And where do you practice? Uh, Lexington, Kentucky. And the form you did today was? A long fist. In the style of? Wushu. Gary, you did some performance today. How many f times did you compete? Um, today, yeah. twice. Twice. In, in empty hand and weapons. And I believe you, you tied at some point? Yes, for empty and I tied for first place. So did you have to pr do another form? Well, in some cases you have to. This time they let us perform the same form. And what was the outcome of that contest? The outcome, I was beaten by a tenth of a point. A tenth of a point? Oh, you must have been ready to scream. Oh, yes, definitely. But um, usually now the, the competitors that you're working against are so up to each other's standard that you're used to going handing off trade-offs. Yes, most of the time. It's, it's really close, neck and neck most of the time. It's really tough. So did you, has the competitor that beat you today, did you beat him at some of the point? Earlier times, yes. Well, how often do you practice? Well, now I usually train every day at least two hours. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the form that you did? Uh, the form I did is long fist, which is a required form in China. Um, I perform a little bit different here in the U.S. because we mostly have karate judges. Mm -hmm. and I try to emphasize more power. And how did the judges respond to your performance? They liked it really well. Evidently, the board that I had today were more soft stylists, and they were looking for flowing movement. And I used more power than I did my flowing movement. So that's, I think that's one of the main reasons that I didn't get first. Does, is it hard to tell what the judges like, and does that affect you when you're going out there ready to do your set? Sometimes it does. It's usually better if um, you're one of the last people to go because you get a chance to see how the judges respond to different types of forms. And sometimes at the last minute you might have to change your form, um, make it some parts different, you know, just depends on what they like. Now, there's a big controversy about the style that you perform, which is wushu, uh, form from China. And a lot of s the spectators often say, well, that's just a lot of acrobatics with martial arts. How do you feel about that? Well, from, I guess, a spectator's standpoint, sometimes it does look like a lot of dance movements. But they have to understand the difficulty that's involved in the body movement and the coordination. It's just like an overall athlete. You really have to work hard. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, you did a tremendous job today, and I wish you a lot of success on the competition field. Thank you, Gary. I'm here with Richard Brandon, and he was the men's number one soft stylist champion today at the Capital Classics. Richard, you did a very hard form. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? All right, the form, it's a roller boxing form, and um, it's a lot of moves and flips and landing, like a gymnast would land on his feet. You'd land on your back. Yeah, we saw that. Without, but without getting hurt. We saw that. We were wondering when the ambulance was going to come, but it never did. You stood up and continued on with your form. Right. Usually it's supposed to be done on rug, you know, the wushu on rug. You know, they, they compete in China, they use rug. When they do performances, they'll bring a rug with them, you know, wherever they go. And but, the uh, surface you were on today was? Concrete. <laughs> absolute, oh my goodness. How does your back feel now? I, you know, I'm ready to go again tonight for the finals. And it's just, if you just do the falls right, you won't get hurt. You know, there's certain things you catch yourself with your hands and you lower yourself down to the ground. Now, how is the style that you do, uh, wushu, how does that differ from, say, the competitors that we saw today, the karate, the taekwondo that was mentioned earlier, the Japanese styles? Maybe you can enlighten us on that. The karate and the taekwondo, it's very, very clear. And you can see it's very basic. I mean, they go kick, punch, elbow, it's very clear and it's dynamic but it's easier than what we do. Um, 
while the average wushu stylist will have a basic knowledge, to have a basic knowledge of gymnastics and ballet helps out a lot, and it's closely related to ballet, the movements of going up in the air, leaping, it's the same, like a, if you go to a ballet school, what they tell you is exactly the way they'll tell you in wushu, the way to leap, the way to spring, the way to lift your arms, but um, the karate, the karate is very basic, I think. It's more basic and more down to earth. It's very simple. They like the, the way a karate person would do a leaping technique was much different than a wushu person. A wushu person would like twist in, in the air and land in a split, where a taekwondo person may lift his leg up and do kicks in a circle and mm -hmm. jump up and then go into a split. It's just very hard when you see the difference you see someone do a karate form and you see someone do a wushu form and you see the difference right there it seems like there's always somebody right behind your heels yeah. um does that affect your training thinking of the other competitors it definitely affects it um because if they're good it makes you train harder because you have to be better to beat them you know sometimes you go and you beat some people that aren't even good you know you don't people say who'd you beat and you don't can't name anybody but if you say yeah i beat charlie lee i beat keith herbayati i beat jean finette people are like you know wow but where they're so good it makes you train harder you know but it's it's easier like as far as financially and stuff like with the sponsors and stuff like that you know that helps out a lot you know for like the other competitors